Okay, just getting started here. You just bear with me a couple minutes. I have to kind of fix a couple things. Thank you all for coming. This is our first time meeting on Saturday. Usually we met on Sunday nights, but I felt like maybe Saturdays would be a better time to to meet, just because of people's schedules and whatnot. So, God, we welcome you to this meeting for this time. We know that you are everywhere but also that you're with us where two or three are gathered in your name and we do meet in the name of Jesus to glorify him, to praise him, to praise you, God. And we know that you have a desire and a plan to make yourself known here with us and among us. And we yield this time to you and say that that we agree for your will to be done, for your kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. fruits of the Spirit is patience, and in our time, it really takes a lot of concentration to maintain patience. You know, our family has experienced the fruits of patience by being consistently asking God for, for a new car, and after probably three or four years, uh, God answered that prayer. It's been a, a real blessing to see not only that, but our, our older car uh, sold off and entrusted uh, to some people who were really deserving of it, really needed it, an older woman and her son <clears throat> who needed reliable transportation. And I feel good about that because I know that we took really good care of our car and, and passed it along to them. But patience is what brings and cultivates our love with God. When we're in a hurry, it's hard to hear Him. It's difficult to move with Him because we're pushed around by fears or anxieties people's opinions, people's expectations, and when we 
we understand that God's expectation of us is his peace and his expectation is patience then we don't have to worry about that we're going to miss out or we're going to miss God or that somehow uh, his will is not going to be accomplished in us we can rest and trust that he who began a good work in us will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ so part of today I feel like uh, I wanted to take time to to talk a little bit about Israel a little bit about the, the Jewish people it's been on my heart this week it's what I've been reading about and praying about I take some time to pray into that and probably even worship into that just one second I need to get one more thing here
has brought me to this place Because of you I feel in hell I like to do all that I give So I stand before you God My voice does set me free So I shout out your name
thoughts. How unsearchable are your riches and your ways past finding out. How unsearchable is your love. How unsearchable is your wisdom. And even though we can say that through Christ, through faith in Him, we we know You, God. We know You as friends, as Your friends. But we don't know You in the same way that You know us. So we broaden our minds. We open our hearts. We open our spirits. And we say, God, come and reveal who you are. Afresh to us in a new way, God. Make yourself known. Make your ways known. Make your power known. Make your glory known in our, in our lives. In ways that we don't know or understand. You said, call unto me. And I will answer you. And show you great and mighty things. That you don't even know. So we are calling on you, God. We're praying to you and asking you, God. Answer us. Show us great and mighty things that we don't know. We don't want to take the world's take somebody else's understanding about it. We don't want to take our own understanding about you. We don't want to take the world's word for it. We want to take your word for it, God. Because you are all that is true and all that is pure and only you can reveal completely who you are. So I ask God that you would use me to reveal who you are, God, to the world. Use us, God. We are your hands. We are your feet. And we want them to encounter you when they encounter us. We are your body, God. But whatever you're doing, Wherever you're moving, God, we want to join you. We want to be with you. Because how you move, God, beyond our understanding. It's beyond what we can comprehend. Because you know everything. And we know so very little, God. You see everything. And we see so very little. And what we know of what is true, God, is so small compared to all that you know is true. So clear our minds, God. Renew our minds. Wash our minds, God, of all that is lies, all that is false. Help us to see truly in every situation, God, in every way, God. Clean our hearts, God, Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Today is a new day. We ask, God, that you would make us new today. Search us and try us and see if there's any wicked way in us. And lead us in a way everlasting. That everlasting way, God, that everlasting life. 
lead us in what you promised us, God. And we trust in you. Lead us in that life. You said that you've come to give us life and life abundantly. So we receive that life. We shut off darkness. We shut off the ways and the culture of death. The culture of skulls and darkness. And we receive life, new life. everlasting, God, that way eternal, that way in the future, God, we ask that you bring that into our time, God, that you would bring eternity, you said you put eternity in our hearts, that you would bring the eternal nature of heaven into our hearts, and reveal to us, God, that we might be, that we might know you as we are known, that we might know you in the power of your resurrection, to know you in your suffering, and to know you, to know you in the power of your resurrection. God, you, Jesus, you have suffered for us. All the guilt and all the shame was laid upon you. All the sin was laid upon you. so that we would not have to suffer the consequences for sin. We we are grateful, God. Grateful, Jesus, that you have paid that price so that we didn't have to experience an eternal torment of burning fire away from you. An eternity separated from you, God. We thank you, God, that you invite us and welcome us not only into heaven but eternal life now you welcome us as family and as friends God that you don't just put up with us because we're family but that you love us and you care about us as your friends so we want to be your friends God we want to demonstrate our friendship with you know that we are your friends and that you're our friend, but we want to demonstrate, God, that we are a friend to you, that we are a friend to your kingdom, God, that we are loyal to you, that we are loyal to your kingdom, that nothing else, God, is in front of that, nothing else comes first, we seek first your kingdom, God, and your right way, that Righteousness that comes through trusting in Jesus. It comes through trusting in you. And we trust, God, that everything that we need will be added unto us. So we take no thought for tomorrow, what we will wear, what we will eat. Because we know that you as our Heavenly Father know that we need these things. If you've taken care of the birds of the air and the flowers of the field, then you will surely take care of us, take care of our families and the people that we're responsible for. You will take care of our city, you will take care of our state, our nation, and our world, God. So we lay aside anxieties. Pray, God, that you would fill us with that peace that passes all understanding. Thank you, God, that you are with us, that you never abandon us, that you never leave us alone. You said you would always be with us. That you would never leave us, you would never forsake us. Your kingdom would come to 
Kalispell, Montana. In every city of anyone watching or joining us now, God, pray for our city, pray for our leaders and city councils, that you would anoint them with your wisdom. Pray for our state, pray for Montana and its governor, God. Pray that you would anoint him with your Holy Spirit. You said in the last days I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, so we claim that over our government, over our legislatures, our state legislature. And we pray for our president. Ask God that you would anoint him with your spirit, that you would bring on him the spirit of conviction and of righteousness and judgment, that you would lead him into all truth, God. Bring on him the Holy Spirit that convicts the world of sin and righteousness and judgment. Pray for our Congress, God, that you would anoint every man and woman that is serving there, and every branch, God, of government, the executive branch, the military. In the judicial branch, we ask, God, that you would anoint the Supreme Court justices and every judge in lower courts, God, district courts, regional courts, God, local courts, that you anoint every judge to bring justice and decisions, God, that have been made, God, that you'd bring before them again, God, decisions that need your correction. they would overturn previous decisions, God, that have brought injustice and unrighteousness. Pray, God, that you would give them opportunity to make judgments that are righteous, God. We pray for mercy where the judgments have been unjust. Western world, in the Eastern world, in business, God, finance, that you would anoint them, God, to use for your purposes, to use them for your purposes, that your kingdom would come, your will would be done, that you would not allow the will of man or the will of Satan to prevail, but your kingdom would come, God. Pray for leaders in every every area of society, education, God, that your kingdom would come. The media, that your kingdom would come. And the arts and entertainment, that your kingdom would come. In, in religious spheres of the world, God, that your kingdom would come. It's your pure religion, your pure and undefiled religion keep us unspotted from the world to visit widows and orphans, those who are in need, that it would come, God, that you would achieve, bring your purposes, God, even to people who don't even know you, that you would use them, God, as prophetic voices to speak forth your word, God, that you would turn hearts back to you. up Jesus as the master of all, the master of all creation, the master of all humanity, the master over all the spiritual and physical realm, master over all, you are master over all, and all things are subject to you, all things are under your rule, all things are under your control. Are under your will. So we present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy, acceptable unto you, which is just our reasonable service. So that we're not conformed to the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride life. But 
so we are transformed by the renewing of our mind to prove, to prove to the world, to prove to authorities and powers the perfect will of God.
I'm going to take about a uh, two minute break here. Be right back. We're back. Make sure we're still on here. <laughs> 